I love your uh, one of your recent Twitter posts uh, with praise the loaf for Artemi Panarin. Do you have anything like that for Vincent Trocheck? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm off and on uh, on Twitter. Sometimes <laughs> I just like being sitting there on my couch, Adam, uh, when I'm not working and enjoying what I'm seeing or riding the roller coaster. It doesn't matter what team you root for, whether it's Carolina, whether it's Rangers, whether it's any other team. You just ride that roller coaster, right? And so sometimes I feel like sharing my thoughts, and sometimes I'm like, I don't want to get any involved, anybody involved <laughs> in my thoughts. But Vinny Trocek, as Carolina fans know, yep. like, is amazing. I, you know, I've been a fan of his since he. Uh, I got the interview him when he was a Florida Panther, mm-hmm. and, and you know, uh, you know, and you know, born in Pittsburgh, and great guy, great human, great character guy. And you know, when the Rangers got him, you know, it was instant success. He had career highs last year, and then of course this year, helping making everyone around him better, especially Brad Artemi Panarin, <laughs> right, with yeah. his career year. So, and then him scoring that double OT winner, just, it's unreal. So, yeah, I mean, listen, it's, it. I said, I picked Rangers in seven before mm-hmm. this series. So this, this is, they're not going away, these Carolina Hurricanes. I get that. But as we all know, and your listeners know, tonight has to be the night yeah. they put it all together, right? No, no question. And, and I don't think anybody should be afraid to admit that, that it's got to be a win tonight. Doesn't mean that it's impossible but it also is an indication that it's not going to happen uh, if you can't get it done in Game 3. I also don't think it's as easy as saying, because well, uh, this is what I get, and I'm too active on Twitter during games, and I get involved <laughs> in conversations. Um, because, you know, this is part of what I do. I feel like I tweet yes, th- during a game. you have to do right. that. So, You're a talk show host. <laughs> You're on the radio. It's important for you to interact regularly. Exactly. Ahead, and I try not to let it distract me during the game. Uh, but it it's it's... It's too easy to say you have to stay out of the penalty box. You're not right. going to. So no. what you have to do is you have to do what the Rangers have done is you have to kill them off. Uh, and Carolina's probably got to change the way they do it. I heard uh, Mark Messier on uh, one of the – I guess he was on with Pat McAfee on ESPN. Uh, and he said, yeah, uh, the – Hurricanes have to change the way they kill penalties. They're too aggressive, and the Rangers are eating it alive. Yeah, and listen, when when the Messiah speaks, you listen. Okay? <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, it, it, that it's you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that special teams have killed Carolina, and they've been elite for the Rangers, and that's why the Rangers have a two games to none lead. And remember, every game is a one goal game. Right. Two games, four three, boom. You know, so, I mean, it's just that close, Carolina, and their fans should realize uh, they're right there. Uh, a bounce here, a bounce there. But, you know, uh, they were, the Canes had opportunities to score on the power play. They yep. were 0 for 5 the first two games, each game 0 mm-hmm. for 5. So you can't, like, complain, oh, the Rangers got this nope. call. Oh, you know, the Rangers are just taking what the refs are giving them, but it's their effort, their work ethic, and yep. their speed, and their, their that's how they're attracting you know, Carolina take these penalties. Of course, you know, before the game uh, series started, I remember hearing Rod Brindamore say, we got to stay out of the box, you know, type <laughs> of thing. And, you know, you could, like, to your point, Adam, you could say that to the cows come home. But if the other team is making you stop them and slow them down and take penalties, that's just, you have to credit the other team. And, yeah, you have to figure out a way. I don't know what that way is. You know, <laughs> how do you change how you kill penalties? I, well, they killed to me. They killed the, the uh, after the Kreider goal. They killed the next two in the third in the third period. So apparently, it's possible. So because we because yes, we saw it happen, right? Possible, <laughs> right? Everything is possible, exactly. And, but uh, to, the, to the other points, like the Rangers have been so successful in the PK, like both. Yeah. Sometimes, a lot of times, right? We see even with successful playoff teams, right? The power play goes, but the PK is mediocre, or the PK is awesome and the power play is mediocre. You know, Rangers, knock on wood, Ranger fans. I mean, every everything's clicking right now. But it's only two games. And again, until, you know, they, they, they held serve at home, the Rangers. Now we'll see what Carolina can do. And I know how crazy that building is going to mm-hmm. be uh, not welcoming. And let me ask you something. <laughs> sure. Ollie, Adam, Adam, you know, I will say this um, as, a, as a long time, as, since I was a little girl Ranger fan. Ranger fans travel well, but mm-hmm. something about your building, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to get a lot of seats. 
I think you guys are going to take care of that. Oh, no, 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 no. There'll be plenty of Rangers fans here. Uh, Linda, you, you, so you're a, a transplant out in L.A. There's a lot of New Yorkers yes. that have moved out there, right? A lot of people that grew up in New York now live in L.A. Yes. or their families are from back east. We have it here. Like half of the main county are not necessarily from New York, but are from northern cities. So there are a ton of Rangers fans. Uh, heck, I grew up. In, oh, sorry uh, to hear in, that, Adam. No, no, it's fine. It's it's all good. I I actually okay. love that part of the atmosphere. Like if I mean the the Hurricanes are not going to lose a game at home because there are three thousand Rangers fans in the building. They're going to win or lose based on how they play. And the best way to keep enemy fans quiet is to beat them. The way, that's right. the way I've and always you know, found. It, yeah, that's a good way. Nice spin by you, Adam. Well done. Thank you. Uh, but <laughs> I just look at it the other way. Like the Rangers, the players actually hear the Ranger contingent in the uh-huh. crowd. They really do. And they've said that. But also, you know, the Florida Panthers deal with this for years and years and sure. years. It's getting better in Florida. You know, there's more Panthers fans that have come out. Of course, kudos to the them making a run last year to the cup final. And that really helped, you know, boost the fan base back to the Panthers. But, um, you know, I get it. Teams teams like the Hurricanes, teams like the Panthers, other teams, uh, you know, they're used to that. They're used to, like, the Bruins fans, the Ranger fans, all this kind of stuff. doesn't bother them. I know I've interviewed plenty of players that are like, no, it's okay. Yeah, would it be great if we, you know. But, you know, they're very quick. Like, let's say your contingent that show up tonight, the big game three, your Carolina fan base is loud and excited and this and that. You know, that means a lot to those Carolina mm-hmm. players, man. They always mention it. Yeah, that it means something. Do you notice that? I know with other teams like that, I, that I just mentioned, like the Panthers, they go out of their way when the fans deserve kudos because they showed up. Right, they show up. Here's the thing about this particular area, and I mean, as as long as you've been in sports, you get it. And by the way, NSMA Hall of Famer Linda Cohn. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, well, it's thank true. You. The it's such it's such a college sports area. That even yes. though the building is a, it's an NC State building, like when yes. Tyler Hansbrough wound the siren, he got booed. But it's I kid you not, right? He, he I think Hubert Davis also got booed when he wound the siren for whatever I like reason. That. Yeah, I like that. By the way, <laughs> but the Hurricanes as an as yes. an entity are a unifying force, and so there's a college environment. We huge tailgating culture. And it's almost, I'll, I'll draw the comparison, not only to college, but to uh, European soccer. It, it okay. is very much a team that is super supported by the community uh, as much uh, as anything. Uh, so it's they've always had good fans when they lost for nine years and didn't make the playoffs. It took a long time for the fans to leave. They came back right away. There wasn't the normal lag that you need like a year or a year and a half for people to buy in. By the really the last couple of months of the season, the Hurricanes were selling out and they sold out every playoff game that first year. Uh, so the fan base is here. That's good. Good to hear. Yeah. But all right, we'll see how many Ranger fans do show up and get oh, in the door and bought the, tickets. We'll there, there will be thousands because, again, they all live here. The, yes. the, these are not people who – I would imagine some come down for the game, but these are all people who live here. They, and, I and, got gotcha. And they might go to okay. games like when the Rangers are not playing wearing a hurricane sweater, uh, but they are Rangers fans, and that's okay. I'm, I'm the guy that doesn't mind it. There are a lot of people who get very bent out of shape about it but i'm uh, i'm okay with it all right let me uh what are your if you if i was putting you on the spot three keys or one key doing three three is a crazy strange number uh give yeah. me one key for the rangers tonight well keep the foot on the pedal is to me i mean as you know that you know you could say yes that's going to happen you can say we will play with that same urgency but when you know you're up two games to none it takes a special group to put the foot on the pedal and keep it there. Now, again, they did that with Washington, but Washington doesn't come close to the <laughs> talent level right. of Carolina, right? Right. So, but the experience of doing so has helped them. They also don't panic. So the one thing, I mean, I can just go on and on about the Rangers, but, you know, the one thing is, that it's, it's three, I can give you three things. Okay. Igor, Igor Shesterkin has mm. to stand on his head again and make those timely saves like he did because the Rangers are going to need that. 
The one thing that I saw negative, obviously, in game two, the Rangers let Carolina shoot forever. Like, they had over, like, 100 <laughs> shot attempts, I think. Like, I mean, it was, like, yeah. coming from everywhere. And kudos to Carolina because they got the memo after game one where they didn't shoot enough. And two, they shot from everywhere. So while the 54 saves by Eager was amazing, it was when he made a few of those saves, which were more amazing, right? No question. Into the third period, right? Big. Oh, in the first overtime, big. You know, early in the game, big. Um, so, but, um, so the Rangers cannot rest on, hey, we'll just score on the power play, or hey, <laughs> you'll just kill it off, because Caroline is at home, and you have to give them a little credit that they're going to get a boost from playing at home, from their fans, and they have pride. Oh, yeah. And they know how big this game is tonight. So the range is just mentally. I'm not worried about them physically and their effort and all that. Just between the ears of, like, we can't take the foot off the pedal. We have to make believe we're down 0-2. All right, final thing. Because you mentioned Igor Shesterkin. Um He hasn't entered Henrik Lundqvist territory yet, has he? Well, he has entered, like, like Mike Richter. Uh, you know, which is, you know, Mike Richter, Stanley Whoa. Cup champ. You know, I mean, the things that he has done, uh, 29 straight games, I think that's... Tremendous, yeah. I don't, I don't know who he's in, but 29 straight games of uh, less than, you know, f- you know, fewer than four goals, like something like streak or something. And I think he's in upper echelon of... He's with Mike Richter of winning the first six games of a post... of a post... a single postseason. Um, stuff like that. But listen... Henrik Lundqvist is the king, right? Yes. He got the Rangers to a Stanley Cup final in 2014. Sadly, uh, they fell to the Kings in five games, but he carried that team. Yeah. This team is better. This team is so much better than that team and deeper and highly skilled, more skilled players than the team in 2014 that shocked the world and, uh, because went to the final because of Lundqvist. So, Igor Shosturkin is a big part of this team. He's not the whole team. And by the way, I have total faith in Jonathan Quick hanging out yeah. on the bench as a backup because somewhere, somehow, if it's not this series, it's going to be one of these series for the Rangers down the road in this single postseason where we're going to see a Jonathan Quick somewhere. Uh, he's He had a dynamite year, a, a throwback year yep. for Jonathan Quick. Uh, one one area where Shesterkin has to fall short of Henrik Lundqvist, no way he looks as good in a three-piece suit. Uh, and I'll oh just, my God. I'll I mean, just let's leave it at that. It anywhere. I mean, three-piece suit, we haven't seen him in other looks, but we can only imagine <laughs> that he, 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 he uh, reigns supreme as a king would. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't think Igor Shosturkin knows. It's not he doesn't care about any beauty contests. He cares about stopping the puck and it's just and be the glue for this team and have the puck stick to him. He's been great. And uh, by the way, we'll see uh, Shosturkin versus another Russian goalie, Pyotr Kachetkov's going to get the start tonight for oh, so Carolina. That's yeah, I, I like that move. I really do. You have to shake it up. It's not like Freddie played awful. No, but you need, you need some. You need you need to shake it up a little bit. Yeah, I you think need he to, wants- and that'll help. Yeah, he wants the Panarin goal back from game one. Yeah, that's the yeah. one he de- def- definitely wants back, and who knows what would happen after? Yeah, there was the first Lafreniere goal, so I never could yeah. I think he never never yeah. located it. Never located the puck. Yeah. He's still looking. Yeah. Uh, he's still looking at the back of the defender. 